Okay, YouTube friends, so we ended up taking the forks off. I've been playing with it, and the uh, the forks just made the tractor too long. Um, was kind of a pain, so I made up a short strap and tongs, and I'll show you how I'm doing with that. And you know, part of this is a new piece of equipment. Uh, I'll end up having to clear some stuff out here, and, you know, just figure out what works best for getting it around. But just always changing whatever works. So you'll see here, I, I doubled this strap up gives me more control with the bucket so <clears throat> let's fire center hook it better I'd be a little better off but this will work out here
be a little little better center hooked but uh, yeah so seems to be working for now beats the heck out of uh, breaking the back doing it now I have to decide we got a couple different things going on here today let me pop this off for you yeah we got the the roof to finish which is what that stuff's milled into but then when I run into one like this I have a hard time just making some boards that are gonna go up under some tin you know that's a beautiful log that's probably gonna have to go into some live edge stuff but but yeah and then we got always got projects going we got a looks like the wife is making some sort of shelf with the kids out of scraps so let's see who do we have here and there goes Anna oh here she comes Anna's right there and there's Becky playing on the swing set we got the uh, grape bush in the background this is gonna be a good year for grapes this thing is loaded should we do an improv to garden tour? Let's go, Aim. You coming, Anna? Yeah. Let's do a tour of the garden. We don't have much of one, but the kids are having fun with it. So, now we got some strawberry plants in the bottom of the tomatoes. There's only two tomato plants there, and we've got a lot. Okay, so I got sent this product. I got contacted and I said, yeah, sure, I'll do it. And do a quick unboxing and review. So what it is, is, is this brush and it's specific listed purchase is for like vinyl records, but it's for like cameras and stuff. And a lot of the videoing I do is pretty dusty. So it's, uh, they packed it nice. These are nice and protected. Oh wow, that's a very soft brush. So when it's all dusty and dirty, you can kind of clean up your camera lens, get in there, all these bits that open. You know, in all honesty, this is actually a really nice feeling product. It's got a nice wood handle. It's very soft. I physically can't pull the bristles out, you know, so it's not gonna scratch a lens. Um, all in all, it's a really nice product. I'm uh, quite surprised at the quality. Uh, it's really cheap. Uh, I don't remember the exact price, but there will be a list. I'll uh, post a link to the product in uh, this video that this goes up in. But yeah, no, this thing's nice. This will be nice for that in behind here. Oh, wow, that works. It works quite wonderfully so you know I figured I'd uh, do this review and this is a product I can uh, absolutely use for cleaning up all the electronics so I'll uh, I'll have to keep using this but yeah if you got cameras and dusty sandy this thing works nice or vinyl obviously that's its main purpose but uh, good product no, these are blueberries. 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 And then I don't know that type of plant, but that type. I got those. No. Oh. oh. So this is all tomato plants, strawberry plants, and then beautiful purple flowers. And then these are all my. These are all blueberries. We got one that Sabal be through yesterday, and then the rest of the plants are going to haven't grew yet we don't know what i've got what they are and they're then they're all just flowers yeah they're just flowers and then over here are our peas and onions are on this side peas have been grown good and then there are two planters of well let's go and then we're going to show you the other stuff that are in front 
so we go a secret way. Okay, let me do this one. Oh. You're, you're gonna talk to a Santa? These two planters are ones that we just newly planted, and they're both peas, right? Yep. And then. How many peas per planter? Um, 100 peas per planter. And then, in these three rows, I know these ones are purple ones, those ones are green ones, and I forget what type these are. Yellow. Yellow. Um, there's mostly beans on this one. I saw, oh, there's a couple on this one, on the green ones, but the yellow ones didn't go so strong later this year. Well, they're just a little bit later. There's lots of flowers. Mm-hmm. There's lots and lots of flowers. And the reason why we don't come out and water them is because there's a water system that goes on these. Like, you can see it right here, and then it comes in and on those, and then loops around in here, and then loops around in there. And I think why I plants grow so goodly is we water them with banana water, which is banana peels, and you just put them in like a jar of water, and then water your plants with them. Works really, very great. Okay. What do we say? Thanks for watching. Thanks, Thanks for, watching. for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.